Hello, welcome to Adventures in Storytime. I'm Miss Allen and I'm coming to you from the Story Tower at Billings Public Library. I am excited for today's story time. We are going to talk about snow. Let's get started. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. Two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round, and one little child sits quietly down. Alrighty, so first let's talk about our letter of the week. Does everybody know what letter this is? This is it a capital I. What word would Miss Allen be thinking about if she was thinking about snow and winter and with the capital I, it starts with I, it goes ah, ah, something you might slip on, ice, that's right, so that's why I picked the letter I for snow, time, snow story time, because I thought ice would work perfect, right, that's a good word, do you know what color this is, this is, it looks like purpley blue, doesn't it, that's right, because it's indigo, indigo is a great color, it's kind of a purpley blue, so indigo, ice, ice cream, Irene, iris, which is a great name, and wonderful flowers, igloos, lots of words that start with I. I is one of those vowels we talked about. So when it says its name in a word, it says I, or like an igloo, it goes I, 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 like ick. That's an I sound. So Let's see if we see any I words. I bet we see the word in a lot because that's an I word, I N. But let's see if we see some other ones while we're reading, all righty? So, first story actually has an I word in its title. Are you ready? Winter is here. This is by Kevin Hankies. Winter is here. He has a whole season, fall and spring and summer. But of course, we're talking about snow, so we would want to talk about winter. There we go. Winter is here. It's everywhere. Look at all the snow and the ice. Are they sledding? It's falling from the sky. What falls from the sky in winter? Snow. And sitting on the houses and dripping from the roofs. That's a perfect I word. What are these dripping from our roofs? Icicles and sticking to the trees in clumps and curls. Look at all the snow. Winter's reaching through the branches and crouching in doorways. See a piling up there? And settling here and there softly, so softly. Have you ever stood outside when it's snowing? be so quiet but winter can be hard too ice covers the pond the leaves underneath are like stars in glass is the ice frozen it can take a long time to get ready for winter boots and zippers and vests and zippers jackets and zippers and hats and snaps and scarves and mittens Look at him all bundled up. Winter is outside, of course, but it's inside too. Feathering the window, dusting the dog, and sitting on the table. She's making a snowman. Winter comes without a sound, and it comes with many. The wind howls in every language, and the windows rattle. Makes you cold just reading this book, doesn't it? Winter is white and gray, but the dark of night, winter is blue, 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 deep blue, and even colder. Winter comes and then it stays and stays and stays. And when it's time to leave, winter shrinks away bit by bit. It slows down, getting smaller drying up, slipping down the street, around the corner, peeking back, then moving on, 
out into the world, into the air. Doesn't winter feel like that? That it starts to seem like it's going to be spring and then it comes back a little bit and then it starts to be spring again and the winter comes back a little bit into spring. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? When our ice and our snow is over, we'll look forward to spring. Alrighty, so there was a section of this book that is perfect for our song. Look at this. Putting all that clothes on. What song could we be singing if we had to put all our clothes on? We're going to sing the Winter Pokey. Are you ready? Do you guys remember it? So instead of doing the Hokey Pokey, we're doing the Winter Pokey. And we're going to put our right mitten on. Oops. Yeah, our right mitten on and our left mitten on. Then we're going to put our scarf on and our right boot and our left boot. And then we're going to put our whole snowsuit on. And we're going to zip it up. Oh, we forgot. Don't we have to have a, a hat? That's right. Are you ready? You guys know this. Okay, here we go. You put your right mitten in, you put your right mitten out, you put your right mitten in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Ready to put your left mitten in? Here we go. Put your left mitten in, you put your left mitten out, you put your left mitten in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Very good. Let's do our, should we do a scarf? You gotta put your scarf on, okay? And then when you put your scarf in, it has to be like this, right? Are you ready? Put your scarf in, you put your scarf out. You put your scarf in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, let's put our right boot in. Are you ready? You put your right boot in, you put your right boot out, you put your right boot in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, put your left boot in. Are you ready? You put your left boot in, you put your left boot out, you put your left boot in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Good job. Alrighty, now we got to put our hat in. So that's the top of your head. Ready? Put your hat in, you put your hat out, you put your hat in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <gasps> now we're going to put our whole snowsuit in. So get your snowsuit on. You got to put the straps on. You got to zip it up. You ready? So that means you have to put your whole snowsuit in. Are you ready? You put your snowsuit in. You put your snowsuit out. You put your snowsuit in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Very good. Yay. Alrighty. So our next story. Stella, the queen of the snow from Marie Louise Gay. Isn't she cute? She's got cute little red hair. Alrighty. And there's a whole series of um, Stella books. Stella, queen of the snow. Doesn't it look pretty? Snowing outside. Sam had never seen snow. This was his first snowstorm. Do you remember your first snowstorm? Isn't it beautiful, Sam? asked Stella. It is very white, said Sam, and it makes me sort of dizzy. Come on, Sam, said Stella. Let's go outside. Is the snow cold, asked Sam. Is it hard and icy? Snow is as cold as vanilla ice cream, answered Stella, and as soft as baby rabbit fur. Can you eat a snowflake, asked Sam. Polar bears do, said Stella. They eat snowflakes for breakfast. With milk, asked Sam. Yes, said Stella, and sugar. I think that's true. Let's make a snowman, Sam, said Stella. Where does a snowman sleep, asked Sam. In a soft, sluffy, fluffy snowbank, answered Stella. 
What does a snowman eat? asked Sam. Snowballs, said Stella. Snow peas and snow suits. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Do snowmen eat green snow suits? asked Sam. You see what he's wearing? No, said Stella. They only eat pink ones. Are you sure? asked Sam. Let's go skating on the pond, said Stella. She telling him some stories that are kind of scaring him a little. Where's the water? asked Sam. The water is frozen, said Stella, like a giant silver popsicle. Are the frogs frozen too? asked Sam. No, said Stella. They're sleeping under the ice. Remember we talked about frogs and toads hibernating? Come on, Sam, said Stella. Put on your skates. Not right now, said Sam. I'm listening to the frogs snore. You think he can hear them? Hey, said Sam, why is fog coming out of my mouth? When it's this cold, Stella said, your words freeze. Every word has a different fog shape. I can't read yet, said, Steve, said Sam. Then let's build a fort, said Stella. Where does the snow come from, asked Sam. Where does the snow go in the summer? How many snowflakes are there in a snowball? I don't know, Sam, said Stella. Come on, help me. Just a minute, said Sam. I'm counting the snowflakes. I think that will take a long time. Let's climb this mountain, said Stella. Why, said Sam, what for? Then we'll slide down, said Stella. Will we go very fast, asked Sam. Faster than a bird, said Stella. Faster than an airplane. Will you be able to stop, asked Sam. Stop, said Stella. Who wants to stop? Hop on. I think I'll walk down, said Sam. Do dogs get cold, asked Sam. No, said Stella. Dogs wear fur coats. Do birds get goosebumps, asked Sam. No, said Stella. Birds wear snow boots. Like mine, asked Sam. Yes, said Stella. Only much smaller. Let's make snow angels, said Stella, with wide feathery wings. Do snow angels fly, asked Sam, and do snow angels sing? Of course, said Stella. Can't you hear them? Yes, whispered Sam. He asked a lot of questions about his first snow, didn't he? Lots of really good, interesting questions, right? Yeah, definitely. Alrighty, so let's do one more time of the winter pokey. Are you ready? We're going to put the words up this time. And I want you to remember to do all the actions. Put your mittens in. Shake them all about. Do the hokey pokey. And turn yourself around. Alrighty, here are the words. Here we go. Put your right mitten in, you put your right mitten out, you put your right mitten in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left mitten in, you put your right mitten out, you put your left mitten in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, now we're doing our right. Uh, let's do our scarf. Are you ready? You put your scarf in, you put your scarf out, you put your scarf in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, let's do our right booty. Ready? You put your right boot in, you put your right boot out, you put your right boot in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Okay, left boot's going in. Put your left boot in, you put your right boot out, you put your right boot in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, let's put our hat in. Here we go. You put your hat in, you put your hat out, you put your hat in, 
and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, ready for the snowsuit? You put the snowsuit in, you put the snowsuit out, you put the snowsuit in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Very good. Alrighty, so another song we're going to sing. This is a shorter one before our next story. It's called Dressed for Winter. So we're going to do different things to get ourselves dressed. And it's to the tune. You know this tune. I'm, I can't remember exactly, but it goes, The hat goes on my head. The hat goes on my head. In winter time to keep me warm. The hat goes on my head. Very good. Can boots go on my feet? You ready? The boots go on my feet, the boots go on my feet. In the winter time to keep me warm, the boots go on my feet. You ready? Gloves on your hands. Ready? The gloves go on my hands, the gloves go on my hands. In winter time to keep me warm, the gloves go on my hands. Very good. Last one. Snow pants. You ready? The snow pants go on my legs, the snow pants go on my legs. In winter time to keep me warm, the snow pants go on my legs. Very good. Last story. Little Owl Snow. This is by Divya Cern Cernavison. She's got a wonderful last name. We've read some of these stories before. Little Owl's Night and Little Owl's Day. This is Little Owl's Snow. Isn't it cute? It's got the biggest eyes. Alrighty. Little Owl's Snow. A child cut through the forest. Little Owl fluffed his... Ooh, excuse me. A chill cut through the forest. Little Owl fluffed his feathers. Something is happening, he said. Green leaves turned orange, gold, and brown, and then they began to fall. Geese flew off to warmer places, navigating by starlight and honking all the way. Do you hear the geese honking when they go by town? Dry fallen leaves rustle and crackle as animals scurry, preparing for cold. See the hedgehogs and the mice and the skunk? Bear was eating all day and into the night. Winter's almost here, little owl said. Isn't it exciting? Winter's too cold, Bear shuddered. I'm staying in. What does Bear do? He hibernates. Bear sleeps through all the fun, Raccoon said. You'll see. Bats disappeared in a cave. Caterpillars closed up their cocoons. Are they getting ready to hibernate too? Goodbye, Hedgehog called. See you in the spring. And he wiggled into his warm winter home. Do you see the skunk getting ready to hibernate too? Little Owl thought he saw a moth, but it was only a leaf in the wind. The forest felt so empty now. The friends were making fog when it happened. Remember how you make fog? Snow! Soon the forest was blanketed in snow, its crystals glinting in the light. Tracks began to appear. Not everyone was hidden away. Little Owl hopped atop the frozen pond, watching fish swimming underneath. How strange and wonderful it all was. There's those frogs and turtles. But one night, Little Owl started to miss Hedgehog. Mama, Little Owl asked, how much longer till spring? Snow is like a special secret. Not everyone can know, Mama said. Are you ready for it to melt away so soon? The forest was very quiet. Little Owl could hear the smallest sounds. Tap, tap. An icicle dripped onto a patch of slush. Mama told Little Owl he would see fireflies again. 
he would see Hedgehog too soon enough. Right now, though, it was time to enjoy the snow. Something we should remember when it snows. To not be so excited and ready for spring, but to enjoy the snow, right? Alrighty, so before our snowflakes flannel board, let's go ahead and do dress for winter. I'm going to put the words up. So there they are. Okay, here we go. A hat goes on my head. A hat goes on my head. In winter time to keep me warm. A hat goes on my head. Boots go on my feet, boots go on my feet, in winter time to keep me warm, boots go on my feet. Gloves go on my hands, glove goes on my hands, in winter time to keep me warm, gloves go on my hands. Snow pants go on my legs, snow pants go on my legs, in winter time to keep me warm, snow pants go on my legs. Alrighty, we're back and we're going to do our snowflake flannel board. This one is called Five Little Snowflakes. How many snowflakes do I have? I only have one snowflake? Well, we better sing our little rhyme and bring back our five little snowflakes. Are you ready? Alrighty, goes. One little snowflake with nothing to do. Along came another and then there were... Two, two little snowflakes laughing with me. Laugh with me. Along came another snowflake, and then there were, how many do we have? One, two, three. We have three snowflakes. Alrighty. Three little snowflakes looking for some more. Along came another. And then there were four. That's right. One, two, three, four. We're almost there. Four little snowflakes dancing a jive. Along came another one. And then there were five. We have our five snowflakes. Uh-oh, though. Five little snowflakes having some fun. Out came the sun and then there was... What happens when the sun comes out to our snowflakes? <gasps> None! Did they all melt away because our sun came out? They did. Should we do that one more time? Alrighty. Here we go. One little snowflake with nothing to do. Along came another and that makes two. Two little snowflakes laughing with me. Along came another and that makes three. Three little snowflakes looking for some more. Along came another and that makes four. Four little snowflakes dancing a jive. Along came another and then there were five. Five little snowflakes having so much fun. Along came the sun, and then there were none. All of our snowflakes melted away. So out came the sunshine. Very good, guys. So next week, we will be in the new year. So we're going to have new books, brand new books. Maybe some of you have not even read yet. Funny ones that Miss Allen really enjoyed when we got them in. So we're going to have new books for New Year's next week. So that'll be fun. I want you to stick around because Miss Molly has a fun snow craft for you to do. Remember that you can pick up the supplies for the crafts at Curbside and you can join me on 
for story time every Tuesday on our YouTube channel. Join us for Books and Babies also on our YouTube channel. We have Justin who is doing a Spanish story time. So he's reading some of your very favorite stories in Spanish on the first and third Fridays of the month on our YouTube channel. So lots of fun things going on until we reopen. Alrighty. So until I see you next time, let's say goodbye. Are you ready? On my face, I have a nose. On my feet, I have 10 toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. I have two arms, I reach up high. And with my hands, I wave good. Bye. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Adventures in Storytime. We're doing a craft together again. Um, this week's theme is snow. So we're making these cool snow scenes with trees and then some like snowflakes in the tree or I guess piles of snow in the tree. Um, super easy. All you need is a piece of paper for your background. Um, I cut out strips of paper to use as layers of snow. You'll need a few cotton balls, um, crayons, markers, or something to color with, glue, um, and then whatever other kind of accoutrements you would like to use to decorate. Um, we'll get started. The first thing we wanna do is glue on our strips of paper that are supposed to look like rolling hills of snow. Um, the one that I would, I, can't, I would um, kind of put them where you want them before gluing, just to make sure that you have, well, just so it's kind of put together, but it's not permanent. Um, this one is flat on the bottom. The other strips that you received should probably be or will be um, scalloped on both sides. So this one I'm reserving from the bottom, for the bottom I'm going to put it there. And I also want this one to be the last one that I layer and then glue because that way um, it sort of looks like the hill that's closest to you. And so um, it just gives the picture a little more perspective. Um, so I will put the strips underneath. So I have two. So if I do it this way, I will be able to figure out like where the top one will be and so then I can glue it on first and then glue all the other ones um, on top accordingly. So I think I'll only do four. So I have, I had them where I want them and I kind of remember how that's going to go. So I'm just going to use my glue stick and glue now. You can use any kind of glue.
So I have glued the first one on, I glued the second one on top of that one, and now I'm gluing the third one on top of the second one. And now I'll glue this one to the bottom. Okay, so I had to touch up one of the corners. You may have to do that too, and that's okay. And it's also not perfectly even, and that's okay too. All right, next step. I'm going to find a brown crayon and draw some trees. So when I draw my tree, um, I'm kind of going to just draw like a really skinny rectangle, um, like a really thin tree trunk. And the fun thing is you can play with perspective here too. Um, like you can do a tree that's far off in the distance. So it would be like the trunk is hidden um, behind the snow hills. And then maybe you want one up close. So you draw it all the way down into the snow hill. Um, it's so that's kind of cool. Okay, so this is going to be my tree trunk. This one's far off in the distance. It's hidden behind the snow hill. And it's just like a really long skinny triangle, or not triangle, it's a rectangle. Okay, now I'm going to draw some branches just like little sticks coming off of the tree. Okay, so I have a place to put my cotton balls later. All right, now we'll do a couple more trees. Let's do one kind of in the middle. do one more tree. I've got three, but I might want to do four. This I'm going to do as like a little bit of a wire tree.
Okay, so I have my trees now. And they're colored. Um, the next thing we should do is put on our cotton balls. So I'm going to put a cotton ball on top of each tree and then also on each of these branches. And um, since the branches are pretty thin, I have kind of like separated my cotton balls a little bit um, just because like if I had uh, like a big, huge, heavy cotton ball on one of the branches, it would be too, <laughs> it would be too heavy for the branches. So, but if you want lots and lots of snow on your branches, you can totally do that. Well, and for the top of this tree, since I made sort of a wider tree, I'll do probably just a whole cotton ball because this tree's thick, it can handle it. Okay, so I'll wait for this to dry a little while, but I've got um, snow on all my branches and on my trees, and now I'm ready to decorate. So it'll be all right drying for a little while while we decorate. Um, you can go in and use white to draw snow, or you can draw people. Um, I have a few stickers, and so uh, we will just kind of use those. This snowman is not a sticker, so I'm going to glue him for, for her. Okay. Luckily the purple dries clear or white, so that's good. Um, and the rest are stickers. So I have this little llama. Llamas are so fun. Okay, this llama is just trotting along in the snow. Um, let's see, I have a few more stickers that are snowflakes. Mm. All right, there we have it. 
a wintry snow scene. So I'll wait for this to dry. Um, if you want to show us pictures, you can email them to kidsdesk at billingsmt.gov. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.